welcome to the latest unboxing video by theplayersaid.com. Today we're taking, taking a look at a game called Old School Tactical. It's Eastern Front 1941-1942. This is a company by Flying Pig Games. And this was a uh, very successful war game Kickstarter. Uh, this is Volume 1. I know recently they just ran a Kickstarter for Volume 2, which is a Western Front as well. So it's designed... Um, by Shane Logan, as well as Mark H. Walker. So let's crack this open. This box is huge, by the way, and it is extremely heavy. So we're going to see there's a lot of components in this box. Let me get the lid out of the way here. Okay. So there's a big old stack of cards here. I'm probably just mixing all these up. There's just a lot of, there's just a lot in this box. They just keep coming. So the cards we have, so there's luck cards, and these luck cards are kind of like your random style events, which are going to affect different things. There's also, um, a lot of these cards are reference cards, so you can see there's German ones, and then there's Russian ones, and these are, just pop a couple of these out. These are just kind of reference cards, so you're going to have these on the side of the board if these are the units that you're going to be playing with. You can see they've got the counter on them, as well as more detailed individual rules and different modifiers for them. There's a bunch of these, and they're, you know, uh, functional, practical. It's not all necessarily all crushed up, so you can kind of see everything pretty easily. There's just a lot of those. I think the luck cards, can, there's only 18 or so, so most of these are unit references. And you can see the deck here is pretty hefty, so there's a lot of stuff to play around with. Bag of four six-sided dice. Let's see, okay. <clears throat> so, more cards. So, we have, this is the rule book. This is a decently sized, it's full color glossy rule book. It's 21 pages. And as you can see, just looking up, I'm cracking it open here, lots of great examples, full color examples. The text, the font size in this is actually quite large compared to something like GMT or Victory Point games. So whilst it can look intimidating, I think it's not maybe as dense as it first seems. It looks like there's a lot of, everything's bulleted or numbered. So I think that's going to make things very easy and clear to find individual rules. So it's actually, I'm excited to read that, just because I think that's going to be um, at least a very clear rule book. We have the scenario book. This is the important part here, isn't it? So there we are. This is, it's interesting. The, the scenario is a listed landscape, not portrait. So you're kind of just going to flip through it like a flip book. And there are just a, a ton. There's so many. So that don't, uh, you're going to get a lot of plays out of this game out of just what's in the box here. These are all individual scenarios and they're different ones on each page. So there's a lot to play around with in there, so that's very exciting. We have two player aid cards. Well, these are, these are papers, they're glass paper. And they're very thin, so you have CRTs for infantry and vehicle combats. And you've got terrain effects charts, artillery strikes, airstrikes, getting bogged down, rallied from modifiers there as well. So there's two identical ones of those, so we're going to have those out on the table as well. Here comes the important part, right? Here are the counters, and there are four sheets of counters. So I'm going to bring these up, get a close-up here. So you can see the artwork on these is just great. You know, there's Panzer threes, they just look fantastic. Even the units here. Those are great, very clear, and these are pre-rounded, so you ain't got to sit here clipping them. I'm just going to pop a couple of these out, and they pop out really, really easily. And these are good, thick counters. To me, that's a lot of clarity on there, and they have that little, this bit in the corner is they're facing, so that's the direction in which they can have a field of fire for these artillery pieces. And so this is, these are the Germans, and then it looks like you got SS up here as well. And we have some more German, let me show you some of these German tanks. You got Panzer IVs here, 
You have early Panzer twos. You have Stug threes as well. Start getting into some of the Russian tanks. T twenty six is down there. There's some Russian units up here. And then you also got, you know, regular Sheik and markers, things that have fired and moved. <clears throat> Here's the rest of the Russians. Looks like we have NKVD in the red. And the regular troops in the tan style color. That's just there's just a lot of pieces as well, which I like that. This is gonna be a lot of variety. And you know, we can probably have a lot of fun playing around making your own scenarios with all the big stuff. So here's a sheet of just the counters. And it looks like there's a counter for you know almost everything. Different zones of control, things in melee being shaken. There's um different terrains and kind of fortifications down here as well. And again, easily punched. These are big counters, they're very clear. Oh, those, they're close to being one inch counters if they're not one inch counters. And there's a lot of those, and they're all double sided with wrecked side for the tanks and reduced sides for the infantry. So that's, uh, we're gonna punch those and bag those. But those look fantastic, I'm really happy with the quality of those. And the rest of the box. This huge box is taken up with two massive mounted boards. So we're gonna, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can open this one. And these are, these are just huge. Oh. It doesn't even fit on my table this way. But if I shoot the video the other way, do I, can I even get it in the camera shot? It doesn't even fit in the camera shot, that's how big this is. So this is the winter board. And this is, it's it's only single-sided, so you don't have a double-sided mounted map, which is to be expected. So there's um, different tracks on either side. There's terrain effects on this side of the board as well. And then there's um, impulse down here, victory points, and casualty losses. Um, north, east, south, west, so you have a compass dial here. So the artwork on the board itself is brilliant. Very clear. It's... Um, very very well produced lots of colors and tones even though a lot of it's white it's not just a plain white wash and i know a lot of the scenarios will use just kind of smaller sections of the board and they'll tell you which bits to use and which bits not but you know if you wanted to play on the whole board you could have a lot of fun playing around with that so i'm going to get out the second and final board and we'll take a look at this one as well This one is exactly the same size. This one is the kind of like the spring summer. And my camera doesn't do this justice, but this is a it's quite it's deep, rich greens. I'm actually gonna pick this up here and what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of the detail on the board. You can see it's just the detail, even on the houses, that don't really do that much. They're just, it's a level of production quality which is, which is excellent. And I'm sure the backers are very happy about this one. This was done through Kickstarter. And you have levels of terrain and different markers on here. Something that I note on this board particularly, um, sometimes the hex designations are a little bit difficult to read. Let me pull over, especially in somewhere like the forest. Sometimes you have to kind of squint to see that this is X25. But the reality is, is that's not something that bothers me. Because, you know, you can just, you can figure out your location based on the other hexes around there that you can read. So this is old school tactical. That's everything in the box. There's a lot in this box. There's a ton of scenarios, tons to play around with. And we'll be getting this to the table as soon as possible because I want to get this played because this looks really, really fun. So thank you very much for watching and watch out for probably a lot of AARs from this game coming up soon. So thank you very much.